These are two examples of dummy variables. The first example is suppose wages they're the function of gender. Where do you think this would be true? Um, you you actually have seen gender discrimination. Females on an average they earn generally lesser than the male population. Um, at least that's true in India, and that's empirically evident also. So now gender is something that's a qualitative variable. So we'll assume that the quality is female and we'll put that equals to 1. So our control group becomes male. So dt equals to 0 which is male and that becomes our control group. Now if you look at it and one more thing again I'm telling you which I've already told you in the earlier recording that the choice of this control group is arbitrary. You could have female as the control group. You could put dt equals to 0 for females. Huh? So in your Excel sheet, wherever males are, you'll put 0. Wherever female is, you'll put 1. And then you will regress wages on these, um, on this dummy variable. Now, you will have this regression with you. yt equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 dt equals to ut. Okay. Now, if you take the expectations of, expectation of this model, what will you get is, that uh, when dt equals to 1, when dt equals to 1, then this model actually becomes, uh, we should have write it, yt equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 ut. Now, if you take the expectation of this, beta 1, beta 2, out of the expectation sign, e of ut is 0. And hence, yt when dt equals to 1 is beta 1 plus beta 2. And similarly, when yt is, uh, uh, when dt is equal to 0, a model is beta 1 plus ut. Again, taking the expectation, beta 1 will come out of the expectation sign, and e of ut is 0, so beta 1. So, what exactly is this beta 1 trying to tell you? Beta 1, the interpretation of beta 1 hat would be the average wages, average wages of control group. So what is our control group here? Males. So beta 1 hat is actually telling you the average wages of the control group because beta 1 hat is something which you are getting when dt equals to 0. Okay, e, And this, this is the average wages of control group. Now what is beta 1 plus beta 2 is trying to tell you what exactly, see, you know what is beta 1, beta 1 is the average wages of control group. Beta 1 plus beta 2 in addition tells you the average wages of female group. What exactly is beta 2 trying to tell you? Beta 2 tells you, this beta 2, only beta 2 tells you expected differential expected differential between wages of male which is your control group and female. See, I'll just give an example. In case of beta 1 is 25 and uh, Beta 2 is, uh, is say, what, uh, say, minus 10. Hmm? So this is the difference. Now, 25 is the average wages of the male. Minus 10 is the difference between the female wages and the male wages. So you are actually trying to tell you, uh, which it is actually trying to tell you that minus 10 is that females on an average, they earn 10 rupees lesser than males. Okay. So, and in all, they are earning 15 rupees. You getting this? Beta 1 plus beta 2, in addition, tells you what are the average wages of female group. But beta 2 per se will tell you the difference between the female group as compared to the control group. What is a control group? Male. So, in case if it is minus, in case of this beta 2 is minus, it means that females are earning on an average this beta 2 hat lesser than the males. In case if this is plus, then females on an average they are earning this much more than the males.